hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so today i have received this dell in spiral 14500 series laptop motherboard and uh, its condition is no display six white blinks and two orange blinks led blinks so now i will try to fix this motherboard and i will show you how to fix this kind of problem so let's try to fix it okay as you can see this uh, motherboard model number vegas 153411-1 so let me show the problem so when i connect this power supply and it's turning on as you can see this uh, six white blinks and two orange and as you can see this power supply it's taking low ampere it's very low ampere so now i will try to find out what is the problem so at first i will check some required voltage on this motherboard so at first is 19 volt it's 19 perfect then I will check 3 volt and 5 volt always voltage 3.3 is perfect and 5 volt mm, this also perfect so now I will check secondary voltage so as you can see this is secondary IC 3 volt and 5 volt so 3.3 it's so perfect 5 volt this also perfect so now i will check vddq this is a ram supply so this coil is vddq ram supply so as you can see it's 0.158 so ram supply voltage is not available on this coil so now i will remove this ram and then i will check again same condition there is no voltage available so now i will check impedance on this ram supply coil so i set my multimeter in diode range and as you can see 217 it's good enough so there is no short and now i will check this ic all the required voltage and signal in this ic open the schematic for this motherboard as you can see so let's open let me search this ic number in the schematic this is a pu5101 so pu5101 okay this is the I see as you can see RP8231. So now I will check some required voltage for this IC. So first I will check this VID and VDD in number 11 and 12. So this, this voltage should be 5 volt. So now I will check multimeter, set my multimeter in DC mode and 11 and 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11. So pin number 11, 5 volt is present. So pin number 12 also 5 volt is present. So next is uh, enable voltage. So as you can see this uh, power underscore VDDQ enable pin number 8. So let's check this pin number 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, as you can see, pin number 8 also, 3.3 volt is available. As you can see, uh, here I, I got uh, 5 volt VID and VDD, and I got also enable voltage in this IC. First, I need to uh, replace this IC from my donor board, then I will check again.
okay this is my dollar boat state of fuse so i will replace this ic from my dollar boat Okay, it's done. Replace is done. So now I will connect my power supply. And let's check. Let's turn on. Okay, as you can see, it's now taking 3 to 4, 0 0.3 to 4 amps. And as you can see, this. Uh, LED blink also change now it's being one two three three and one two that means RAM so now we connect RAM again we connect power supply and let's press the power button and it's turn on as you can see it's turn on no more led blinks so let me wait for few seconds So I need to wait for a few seconds. Okay, it's done. So let's check the display. So let's connect my power supply again and press the power button. We have the logo. So it's done. So it successfully fixed this motherboard. So if you want to support my channel, so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel thank you so much that's it for today see you in the next video until then stay well bye bye